Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a super easy spring recipe that will be perfect for your Easter tables if you choose to make it. It's my no-bake strawberry pie. It's delicious, it's easy, it's no-bake. I know it's amazing um, so I'm so excited to share it with you it's a big hit at my household for Easter I actually started making stuff already so I'm so excited to bring it to you if you want to see how to make it just keep on watching okay so to make this what you're gonna need is over here I have some sugar some cornstarch I'm using strawberry jello you preferably want to use that but you can also use raspberry some melted butter water crushed graham crackers and back there I have my um, strawberries that I've washed and they're just drying and you're also going to be wanting a um, pie plate of some sort. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in our melted butter into our crushed graham crackers and we are just going to combine this until it's very wet and kind of combined. So I will meet you back here. It's going to take a couple minutes so just be patient and just work through it. Okay, so my um, graham crackers are pretty nicely combined. Now you don't want to use too much butter because we're not baking this and you don't want it to, um, to, what you might call it, be too greasy. So I'm not using all of it, I'm making two batches. So what you, I do is, I'm actually going to, I'll use this one. You're going to take your, I'm going to use a ramekin, but actually I might not even because... And you're just gonna pat it in and then I'll meet you back here to show you what it looks like okay so I actually gave up on the ramekin it was just easier to use my hand obviously clean hands um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the fridge it has to set for about an hour um, because we're not baking it and you don't really want it to fall apart um, I don't use a lot of butter in this which is why you have to really give it the time to set in your fridge so that way it doesn't come apart but trust me, it's going to be amazing. So while that's actually cooling, I'm going to go ahead and my strawberries are already washed. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them into fours. And then I'll meet you back here in an hour so that we can continue. So into my bowl, um, well, my pot thing, I don't know, a saucepan, I think this is called. Get it together, girl. All right, you're going to add in a cup of water. Ooh. And I have it on medium heat because you want to bring this up to a boil. Just eyeball it. All right. So we're going to bring this up. And to this, we're going to add in our cornstarch because we want the jello to really nicely thicken and kind of coat our strawberries really nicely. And then to this, we're going to add in our sugar. We're only going to, I'm only adding about a quarter cup because the jello is sweetened. So you don't want to overwhelm it but I do like that extra sweetness so I add about a quarter cup so you're gonna keep an eye on this and keep stirring this until it comes up to a boil and then I will meet you here in a second so my mixture came up to a boil and as soon as it starts to boil you're gonna shut it off then you're gonna go ahead and add in your jello and mix this in and mix it in and you can see it's already thickened really nicely which is what you want you want it to be nice and thick when you pour it in there there we go oh it smells so good and then to this you're going to add in a cup of cold water just like you would regular jello except we added the sugar and the cornstarch just kind of mix this till it incorporates very nicely and then you're going to set this aside to cool a little bit because my pie crust is nice and solid which is what you want you're going to go ahead and add in your strawberries make sure that they're dry because you don't want wet berries in here and i do just enough to kind of cover the bottom because i put whipped cream on top of this once the jello sets but I'm not gonna lie to you I usually just cool whip it you know what I mean just put on some already made whipped cream and nobody's gonna judge you all right so to this thing is gonna go over your mixture oh look at that look at that it's like heavenly 
some of them are starting to float up. That's totally okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, put this in the fridge until it sets, and then I'm gonna enjoy it.